Matthew 1 tells us, and behold, the virgin shall be with child. You know, Christmas is a wonderful time of year, and it's a time in which we celebrate, but not everybody celebrates because of the same thing. You know, we celebrate Christmas as Christians because of the virgin birth of Jesus. And that's very important because Jesus had to be born of a virgin. And so it's the promise of God. And if God's not true with his promises and that prophecy, we can't trust him with any promise about any prophecy. So the fact that Jesus was born of a virgin, Mary, is critical because Adam brought sin into the world, but Jesus would bring a sacrifice for our sin into the world. That's why he had to be born of a virgin. It had to be a supernatural birth, one that was caused by God and used of the Holy Spirit to make Mary pregnant. You see, the virgin birth matters. It's critical. It's not just that Jesus was born. He was born of a virgin. Now, why does that all matter? Because that's how we're born again. See, I can't do anything to save myself. It has to be a work of the Holy Spirit. And because Jesus was born of a virgin, lived without the sin nature in him, he could die and pardon me of my sins. That's why it's critical. He was born of a woman, lived like a man, faced temptation like we all do, but overcame where Adam failed. And so where Adam failed God in sin, Jesus won victory over sin, death, and the grave. That's why the virgin birth matters. It's a supernatural work so that we could be saved supernaturally by the person of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ. I'm thankful this Christmas that I'm alive in Jesus, that there was a supernatural birth in my life when I recognized that I was a sinner in need of a savior. That's why he's called Emmanuel, God with us. Because as believers, we actually serve as the temple of the living God and the person of the Holy Spirit. See, it's not that God was just with us on that first Christmas, God is with us today. That's why you can celebrate Christmas. Yep, he was born of a virgin so that we could live a life of victory. I pray you enjoy that victory this Christmas. And may you have a blessed Christmas indeed. <laughs>